Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <coughs> to feel interestable, we need to follow the steps given in the flow chart. In this flow chart, flag is equal to zero, so we will write down zero in the flag column and one uh, into count. Then in the second step, it is asked that name at count means name at location number one. Name at location number one is Jamal. It is asked that name count is greater than name count plus one Na means name one is greater than name two. Name one is Jamal and name two is Amir. J is greater than A. So we, we will say that this is yes. So temp is equal to name count means we need to write down the value of name one in column of temp. Name one is Jamal. So we write down Jamal in column of temp. Then in the second next step it is asked to write down the in name count the value of name count plus one means in name one we need to write down the name uh, two name two is amir so we will write down amir in name one column then name count plus one means name two is will be equal to temp so we will write down the value of temp in name two that is jamal Then we are asked to store one in flag column, so we will write down flag column one. Then we are asked to uh, increment count by one, so we will write down one plus one that is equal to two. Then it is asked that is count uh, equals to four? No, count is not equal to four. It is equal to two. So we we will go to uh, again we will compare count is uh, name count means name to now value of count is two so we will compare name two with name three name two is jamal and name three is eve jamal is greater than eve yes so we will write down name count means name two in temp again we will write down jamal in temp then name count means name two will be equal to name count plus one means name three so we will write down in name to Eve. Then name count plus one means name three will be equal to temp. So we will write down Jamal in name three. And we will store one in flag column. Then we will increment count with one that will be equal to three. three. Then we will check that is it equal to four? No. So we will compare name 3 with name 3 plus 1 means 4. Name 3 is Jamal, name 4 is uh, Tara and Jamal is not greater than Tara. So we will increment count by 1 that will be equal to 4. Then we will compare count with 4. Yes, count is equal to 4. Then we will compare flag with 0. No, flag is not equal to 0. So we will store 0 in flag column and 1 in count column then we will compare name 1 with name 1 plus 1 means 2 name 1 is Amir and name 2 is Eve no it is not greater than uh, name 1 is not greater than name 2 so we will increment count by 1 that will be 2 we will check that is it equal to 4 no then we will compare name 2 with name 3 name 2 is Eve name 3 is Jamal Eve is not greater than Jamal so we will increment count by 3, 1 that will be equal to 3, then we will compare it 4, no it is not equal to 4, then we will compare name 3 with name 4, name 3 <coughs> is not greater than name 4, so we will increment count by 1 that will be equal to 4, then it is asked that is it equal to 4, yes it is equal to 4, then we will check that is flag is equal to 0, yes flag is equal to 0, so we will stop the loop. Now, describe what algorithm represented by this flowchart is doing. We can say that firstly, the value which are stored in array are Jamal, then Amir, then then Eve. Then Tara. 
now after executing this algorithm now the values which are stored in array are in name one amir is stored in name two eve in name three jamal in name four tara means all the names are stored in ascending order means this algorithm is used to arrange the names in ascending order basically this is known as bubble sort so you will write down to arrange names in order arrange names in ascending order this is the purpose of the algorithm